And so most people who operate in a level of faith, it's be very difficult to have friends who have less faith. For example, you know, you're telling people here, I want to go to China, I want to go to Africa, I want to build a 5,000 mega church, saying, hey, look, you are mad, you are crazy. Please know you are very small. And so when you are saying big things to them, they cannot comprehend, cut you differently. This is not your problem, really. And so when I was very young and I, you know, tell people, hey, look, the ends of the earth to preach the gospel, you know, people's like, hey, you crazy because, you know, you never even left your own the village and do ministry how do you want to go all this thing how are you going to get him money to do all of these things this guy is too crazy you know we don't want to deal with him but because of that great faith and that great fear that you have your friends you will lose a lot of friends because of their small faith and because of their small imagination. And so most times you find most men of God hardly had any friends. People like Smith Wigglesworth, great men of God, people like John Knox, people like William Carey, William Tyndale, great men of God. People cast them aside and say, hey, look, what you want to do is, you know, it's crazy. You know, we won't accept what you were saying. And what they do, they push them aside as crazy people. People with great faith and great humongous faith. It is uneasy for people. It is uneasy when you begin to increase your faith and you tell people, hey, look, you want to do great things. You're going to lose a lot of friends because people cannot see eye to eye with you.